Welcome to VW 11.4. We're going to continue our study of ellipses today by first recapping our new formulas. Our first one is x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Remember the assumption is a is greater than b. In this situation we have our football form. So I write football. And our other one is the same thing, except A and B switch. Remember, this is our corn form, so something like that. And of course, the thing that ties it all together, C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. And for reference, we're going to call these two things standard conic form. So for all our conics, there's a standard conic form, meaning the form we want to work in. And this for ellipses, this is what we want to see. OK, and the only thing to add, I think, would be the center here. For both of these, the center is going to be HK, meaning it's good for any point that would be the center. So the first equation says analyze the equation of an ellipse. And in your homework, what you're going to do is take this thing, and you're going to write this in standard conic form. So the book is going to have you put in conic form and then graph it. But for you guys, I'd rather you just focus on the mechanics of putting it in standard conic form and your practice graphing it in other problems. So to do this, we're going to have to use CTS, or complete the square. That's our technique here. And what you want to do is group the x's together and the y's together, and move this number to the other side. So I'm going to write it like this, 4x squared minus 8x. I'm going to leave a blank here. Then plus y squared plus 4y plus blank. And that's going to equal negative 4. Now I've got to complete the square. So for the y, it's pretty easy. I can see I just need a 4 here. But for the x one, it's a little bit more complicated because I have a 4x squared here. So to do this, I'm going to have to factor that 4 out first, like that. So now I can more clearly see what's happening. Right here is where you want to complete the square. It's a little bit hard to see what number I need here. But here it should be clear. I need a plus 1 because that's going to factor into this, 4 x minus 1 squared. But remember that this 1 doesn't mean that this is going to be a 1. This 4 will get multiplied here, which means the number you need is actually a 4. So you got to add 4 to both sides once again. So 4 and 4. Now we continue. Plus we factor that one. That's y plus 2 quantity squared. And that's going to equal all of this added together, which is 4. And the final step is to make this into 1. So just divide everything by 4. And here's our answer. That's our standard conic form. And we are done. We'll do one more to practice right here. Same thing. Let's put the x's together with the blank. We'll leave the y alone. Factor out that 9. Let's so now complete the square. I need a plus 1. But again, it's not really a 1. Put the 9 back into it. It's actually a 9, which means I have to add 9 to this side to balance it. Now we can factor. Now I'll get rid of that 9 and make it to a 1. And there it is. There's our standard conic form. OK, now let's go to our last example for the video, a word problem. A racetrack is in the shape of an ellipse, 100 feet long 
50 feet wide. What is the width 10 feet from a vertex? So what we're going to do first is superimpose an x, y axis here to make it easier. So we want to construct an equation that would make this work. So I know that this point right here, that would be 50 comma 0. And this point right here should be 0 comma 25, which means my equation, I can see my center is 0, 0 because I drew it this way. So my equation is x squared over 50 squared plus y squared over 25 squared equals 1. So notice how to make the equation is pretty fast, but that doesn't answer the question. The question is, what is the width 10 feet from a vertex? So a vertex is right here. We want to go 10 feet away. So we're right here. And it wants this distance, like what's the width of that? Or actually I'll make a line like that. So to do that, let's think about this coordinate. I do know that coordinate is 40 comma zero. Because if this is 50, take away 10, that should be 40. What I can do is use this equation and let's just find that point up there. So I'm wondering, what is this point? I can easily find that because I know the x coordinate is 40, I just don't know the y coordinate. Let's plug it in. So 40 squared over 50 squared plus y squared over 25 squared should equal 1. And for this, we actually don't need a calculator. We can do it by hand because this will be 1600 over 2500. And we'll leave the 25 squared for now. Let's not worry about that. Now I have 16 over 25 plus y squared over 25 squared. Let's make this 25 over 25. So y squared over 25 squared. Let's subtract the 16. That's 9 over 25. And now we're in a pretty convenient place because I can multiply both of these by 25 squared, which means y squared could equal that's going to be 9 times 25. And now I'm just going to root it. So I can see the absolute value of y should be 15. So y is plus or minus 15, which makes sense because there's two coordinates here. Which means I just found this coordinate right here. This is 40 comma 15. Now your inclination might be to write 15 as the answer. But the question is saying, what is the width? So you want this entire width here. What we just found is this coordinate is 40, 15. So just take this 15, times it by 2, and you get 30. So 30 feet would be your width. 